Da, da. It's lucky bag season! <laughs> this is the first lucky bag that arrived this year. Can you imagine this? Let's escalate it quickly. My name is Tina aka Tokyo Diaries. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If not, welcome back. And again this year I got some lucky bags. And it's every year it's exciting. I love to buy them and just to see what's inside. And this is the first one that arrived this year. I ordered it on Suzu Town. The brand is called Deiji. I thought when looking at their Instagram, they are similar to Snidal price-wise and style-wise. They have a very elegant but also slightly cute style. It's hard actually to find in Japan clothes that are not cute. If you've never heard of Lucky Bags, um, let me just shortly tell you what it's all about. Basically, the name says it all. You get a bag full of things. Doesn't need to be clothes. Nearly every brand, nearly every shop sells a Lucky Bag over New Year's in Japan. You can either order them online, which is for some brands like super difficult because they are so popular. They are sold out in a second. This year I decided to go for some fashion brands that are not as popular and that I would get even after like I finish work basically. Um, this was 11,000 yen which is a normal price for clothing lucky bag. The items are always worth way more than what you pay. Some brands also um, put clothes in their lucky bags that they did not sell in the previous year so basically everything that's left over they put into their lucky bags or some brands actually make clothes only for their like unique items only for their lucky bags so let's see i'm very excited again the brand is called deji deji.com i don't know where to start no there are more there's oh there's more there's, oh, no there are way more i thought oh, there are a lot of items in there it's just like wow Did it! No, I will like this one. This is nice. I'm surprised every year, every time I get my lucky bags. I'm so happy with the things that I get. I don't know how people come, but there are lucky bags that are a bit of a gamble. For example, which one was it? Oh, which brand was it? I think the mousy lucky bag is a bit of a gamble. Look at this nice skirt. I'm really looking forward to try it. This skirt is already... How much do you think it is? Guess the price. Guess the price. I'll give you a second to guess the price. 23,000 yen and 100. 23,000 yen. Japanese brands can be so expensive at times. Girls shine begin with fashion on the date. Yeah, Japanese English. Oh, so many. This is so Japanese, boys. Okay, this is... Fabric, the fabric is called Asa, Asa Nuno, which is hemp, hemp cloth. That was new. All of my skirts are the same as the one that I have on right now. Also like, um, look at the hanger. And they also put this in between. By the packaging you can already tell that it's a better brand. They put some effort into it. Another skirt. I think I like this one even better. You see there are also, there are not only... How do I get it out of there? Oh, it's so nice! Love it! Look at this nice skirt! Oh, it's so fluffy! And so light! I love this style! No, I've never had a skirt like this! It's so nice that you always you get something you with those lucky bags that you would actually not buy but how to be lovely the most important thing is to be happy and enjoy your life fashion is a part of the life girls shine begin with fashion on the date again their english is questionable guess the price this skirt is 19,000. it's cheaper than the first one but 19,000. you can see a uh, first items already over uh, nearly 40,000 yen so oh sh Oh, whoa, whoa, this might be a really good, this is a really good lucky bag. Why isn't it more popular? Oh my God, the stress. 
darling. Oh, and this quality. This is so good. Such a cute black dress. It's so elegant. Oh my god. I, I, now I need a boyfriend because I need someone to take me on a date in this. Damn it. Or oh, a girlfriend. I take... Huh? This is polyester. Mm -hmm. The skirt is very heavy. You can feel the quality. You can feel that it's good quality because the skirt is very heavy. And the details are so nice. I am blown away by this piece. Okay, on the price. So, oh yeah, it's basically you can wear it separately if you want to. There's basically one um, black dress underneath and then the one above. Okay, guess the price. 30,000 yen. Why is this lucky bag not more popular? Usually when you get one of the more expensive brands like this one, you would get like four items max. And I already, and I don't have a new jacket. That's the best thing at all. They don't give me, give me a jacket because usually they have like in every lucky bag a jacket. And I have way too many at this point. <clears throat> okay. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is cute. Oh, look at this. Uh, see, you don't have winter clothes in your lucky bags necessarily. Some lucky bags specifically sell winter clothes because it's always in over New Year's. This is very cute. I wonder how it looks on me. Guess the price. This is about, not about, it's 9,500 9, yen. <laughs> next piece and the last one it's the last one but i'm so happy i did not get a new jacket how good is that i cannot tell you how happy it makes me that i have no new jacket in my lucky bag. <laughs> the packaging is nice even though again it's a lot of plastic and just oh oh so cute and I have two skirts and two pieces to wear with them and a dress that's perfect you get two skirts and you get two tops and you got a dress I can try to style them together let's see if that works oh this is oh see the back oh, I haven't shown you the back because I was so mesmerized and it feels so nice guess the price this one is 14300 14,000 yen, 300. I love what I got. And I'm so happy that I didn't get it. <laughs> oh. Okay, so the first lucky bag seems to be a win. But of course, we need to try them on. Um, yeah, so excuse me, I'm getting changed. Fashion-wise, I just thought I really need to stay in Japan for the rest of my life because... I find so many nice fashion brands here. I have very small shoulders and I always notice it when trying on fashion, when trying on clothes. Um, for example, with Japanese clothes, I don't have a problem because Japanese people, like the Japanese women are small as well, just to get that out of the way. But apart from that, isn't this dress nice? Also look at the details here, just to show you some of the details. But I think this is uh, definitely the most expensive or second most expensive dress that I own. It's definitely a dress that I wouldn't wear on like every occasion, but like going out. So now I need to find some opportunities to go out or just wearing this at home i can i can totally pull that off <laughs> do you think this would be a good home outfit for work <laughs> that'd be nice i'm a little bit lost with this skirt when i tried it on i saw these here do you have nothing in the back to tie them behind you so there's nothing so i think what you have to do is Maybe tie them behind your neck. I hope. If this is wrong, please excuse me. I have no idea actually what to do. Also, I really love that it has pockets here. 
If you have seen some of my previous videos, I love pockets. Who doesn't actually? Do you like pockets? So um, yeah, let me know what you think of this right or wrong. Also, when I tried it on, I thought because of these, I cannot really wear it with one of the two tops I got. I think that would look kind of weird, so they don't mesh really together. So this might actually be a pran that is not selling an outfit to you. This does not look like a matching outfit. It looks more like they are selling actually things that they would sell in the store. Which A is good because the quality should be the same as in the store. Uh, B, you also have the price tags on, which is also an indicator for that, that they're actually selling at the store, which means the it's really worth a lot of money. If they make the clothes, except for the lucky bags, it's probably not the same worth that you would get when you buy them at the store. Also, I like how it fits. It's very light, actually. I don't... Again. <laughs> yeah, but look at the waistline. Huh? Nice, huh? Wow, okay. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'm going to try on the next item. Ooh, no, no, I'm dizzy. Love this skirt. I love it so much. I would wear a different top with it and it's not wrinkly at all. Especially I like that about it's not wrinkly. It's just the way it is. I would wear it like that. Except for like the shirt. You can see it's a little bit see-through. You can see my white shirt here and the line so that's that i will change this is the top from before and i think it's super cute it's very comfortable for me perfect again i have small shoulders so tops like that are actually perfect for me of course these two don't really match i'd say but it's more about the color like uh, the colors are too different i wouldn't wear these two colors together i would for example i would choose maybe like a jeans or something but um, just imagine me wearing something else instead. Um, I just wanted to show you the different pieces. I think separately they look very nice. They fit me very well. But yeah, it's not cute, it's not cute. And also like I'm so looking forward to this year's summer. To summer and spring when I can wear this. And this is so light. Also quality wise, very good. Like I got also some better prints last year in my lucky bags. And I was wearing them a lot in the course of this year because they just were quality-wise so much better than what I was used to. And this again is quality-wise very expensive, but basically for lucky bag. This is the second top and um, this one fits a little bit better to the skirt color-wise. Uh, the other one was this kind of like very light pastel baby blue color. And this one is more of a dirty blue, greenish even color. So I feel it fits way better color-wise to the skirt. What do you think? I, I, I like it a lot. This is one of the reasons I don't make many fashion videos anymore because I just I get so many clothes when I buy my lucky bags that I don't need to. And you see it's not only winter clothes, it's all over the place. And this is really nice. I'm very excited to wear this. Thank you guys for watching, this was my first lucky bag video this year and I'm so happy that one of them came so early because I still have so many others that I need to film. Some of them were, uh, I got some of them through a lottery so I wasn't sure if I would get them, it's not like I decided. Let me know what you think in the comments, I really like this brand, I would recommend it even though it's pricey. I got some very good brands last year too, like for example Snydel and Lily Brown which are also on the better end of the spectrum but maybe i like this one even better i'm not so sure i mean i always i have to wear the clothes a couple of times it's always the case so i can give you my honest opinion next year about this brand actually but my first impression was very very good i like all of the pieces i would say my favorite piece is actually the skirt the most the piece I was most surprised about is the dress because whoa. <laughs> and the least favorite, I don't have a least favorite piece I would wear. I would need to wear them a couple of times. I'm, I'm not sure about the second, no, the, the first top, like the baby blue top. 
because it's not matching well to the other clothes that I have. If you know my channel for a while, I don't have many things in blue and I have troubles matching it with other things. What is your what did you like best and least? And let me know in the comments what you think about this lucky bag. Would you buy this brand yourself? Maybe subscribe to my channel. There are some other lucky bags coming. Very, very cool ones this year. Special edition this year lucky bags because I got some good ones. Hope you are excited. I am. And then I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye bye.